Hello and welcome to your tutorial for Mad World. Now, I know this song from a few places, like the movie Donnie Darko, Adam Lambert sang it on, I think it was American Idol, and I'm told it's in a video game trailer from the Gears of War. However you've heard it, it's an absolutely stunning song, and it's not too hard to play, so let's dive in. Okay, first things first, I can't see my music, so I'm gonna put on my glasses. <laughs> I'm not gonna walk you through this. Let's start with the left hand. So the great thing about this song is the left hand has a repeated pattern. We're gonna begin with our five finger on F and then we've got A flat and C. And we just do that twice. Then we travel up to B flat, D and F. And then back to F. This is an F minor chord, for those of you who like chords. And then a B flat major chord. And then, guess what for the verse? <laughs> it does that again but we move up to A flat. So A flat, C and E flat. Then we're gonna move down to E flat, G and B flat, and then up to B flat. And that actually repeats. So let's just keep going so we can feel this under our fingers. That was our F minor, up to A flat, C and E flat, then down to E flat, G and B flat, and then up to B flat, D and F. All right, so that's the left hand part. I recommend repeating that until it's almost memorized so you don't have to study your hand. Now we do have a wonderful practice tool in the piano members area that will let you isolate the left hand. It'll play it out loud so you can play along making sure you've got the right notes. You can slow it down, you can loop sections. It's so useful. So take advantage of that. You can click the link to the seven day trial below this video. All right, so for the intro, we're gonna be playing A flat, C, G, a flat, F, G, E flat, and D. Now you can use any fingering that feels good for you, but what I just did was two, four, one, three, one, three, two, one. And that felt pretty natural. And then that repeats. So we're gonna be playing this A flat again, and then we'll be going back up to the C. I used my third finger on the A flat, and then we're just gonna walk up. F, G, A flat, and B, which you hang on to. So when you put that together, look how squishy my hands are. Sharing is caring, friends. You just gotta get your right hand out of the way. Play this A first, and then your left hand's gonna play. So it's a little bit different there. Let's do that again. Together. My right hand goes out of the way. Right hand plays first. There we go. That's the intro. Okay. Next, we're going to be looking at the melody. So our melody, if you know the song, it's going to be so much easier because you can kind of read the notes, but then you hear it in your head to help you along with the rhythms. But it's going to sound like this. over there. So let's do that one more time. I played the C with my four and then A flat with my two, three and one, and then B flat. I went three, two, one, two. And then I can lift my hand for the next section, which is very similar. So there's going to be part of this that is just listening to that, reading the notes and figuring it out. Let's put it together really, really slowly and it's gonna sound like this. So the left hand starts, F, A flat, left hand moves, together, notice how I had to get out of my own way again. One more time for that section, so here we go. chunk and then you're gonna move on to this next section where the melody changes a little bit so you're gonna see this teeny little note which is on an F that's for the second time you play through the verse because there's a melody went to school and I was very nervous so you can ignore that little tiny note if you want to or you can play it 
I'm going to ignore it. So it's going to be like this. So you've got that one. It's a very repetitive melody, isn't it? This is the beautiful thing about this song, because once you've got the main melody, it definitely repeats like it's a theme. So again, F, A flat, A flat, F, F, C, A flat, and So let's put that line together for measure 13. So left hand starts. All right, so this next line starts on measure 17. And let's just take a moment to count the melody. So if you like to count out loud while you play, you can kind of get a sense of how to count this one. So our right hand gives us a rest. So we're gonna count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So it's kind of like, it feels like it's placed a little bit strangely, which makes sense because the song is called Mad World. And I find it really helpful to feel those rhythms when I'm playing it hands together because the left hand visually helps me place where to put my right hand. You can also print this music if you're in the piano members area and you can like draw lines or write in the counting as you see fit to help you along. So really slowly, there we go. Okay, here's a change. What's happening? So everything else felt like it was like a total pattern. It was predictable. Here the melody is shifting a little bit. So we've got F, F, A flat, A flat, C. So look at it, it's an F minor chord. So one and two and three and four and one and, so this is a D and a B flat. One and two and three and four and F. One and two and three and four and 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 we'll pause there. It's almost at the end of the song already. So again, use a practice feature to really nail down that right hand part because your left hand gets to go on autopilot, but your right hand, it's the rhythm's a little bit tricky. Count out loud as you need to, but here's how it's gonna sound when you put it together really slowly. and the D for that measure 28. Okay, so measure 29. This part's a little more challenging, so I'm gonna walk you through it really slowly. We've got A flat and C, and I like to use my two and four, play that twice, thumb plays G twice, then pivot over with your two and four fingers to play F and A flat, repeat the F, then you're gonna play E flat, and then you kind of slide your thumb down to play D and F. practice. You're going to have to repeat that a lot. Okay, and then the second part, the answer to that starts on the A flat, and then it's tied, and then you're going to play A flat and C, G, G, come up and over again, F and A flat, down to E flat, and then you've got a full chord here, D, F, and B flat. So I'm going to do that one more time, hands together. I think I counted a part of that slightly funny, so let's try it hands together to keep me on track. And again, you have to share that space. There we go. Let's do that one more time. funny before I forgot to play on measure 29 30 31 that's a third which is really easy to forget so if you're feeling like 
it's easier to eliminate that top note, you can totally do that. Rather eliminate the bottom note. You have to play it twice. Find a way to get through this that feels best for your fingers. No great news, there's only one line left. So it's pretty much the same thing. We're gonna repeat these top two. One difference, E flat and B flat here. What? Again. E flat and B flat and then D and F. And then the left hand moves up, right hand moves away. Now just single notes here. Okay, this is C, F, and A flat. F, and then we're gonna share the space, and then we're gonna be playing D and F with an octave on B flat here, just after. So one more time for that last line. Okay, so now I'm gonna play the whole song for you top to bottom. I'm not gonna use the repeats, but for those of you who would like to play this accurately to the sheet music, you've got your intro, then it goes into the verse, and you'll notice as you get all the way near to the end on measure 32, you see these little dots? Those are repeat dots. So they mean go back to measure five where it says verse, um, and you're gonna start there, and you're gonna play all the way through to the very end, the second time. So. Here we go. I'm gonna play through this slowly so you can watch and learn or you can play right along with me. Here we go. There you go, that's Mad World. So take your time, learn the right hand, left hand separately, put it back together. There's so much this song can teach you. This left hand rhythm, the coordinating of the hands, the sort of like offbeat melody that your right hand gets to play. It's all so good for you. So take your time, comment below if you have any questions at all and happy practicing.